Tracking some mild temperatures tonight as we fall down into the 60s. Definitely going to be a warm one as we're only making it down to about 63. Those winds will continue tonight. It's going to be breezy with wind gusts out of the south up to about 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow is just as warm. I'm tracking some high cloud cover, so that could limit the temperatures from getting above 84 or 85. But it's definitely going to be a much warmer than average day as we climb throughout the afternoon. Cloud cover will continue to build towards tomorrow afternoon, but it's definitely going to be another windy day. Wind gusts up to around 25 or 30 miles per hour throughout much of the afternoon. Here's how it plays out. I'm starting out future track at 7 o'clock. It's going to be a quiet start to the day. That cloud cover starts to filter in towards the afternoon. We'll have a couple scattered showers or maybe even a thunderstorm after around 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. Better chances of rain will become more widespread during the morning. Likely going to have a slow morning commute on Wednesday. Somewhat of a break towards afternoon except for areas near Highway 50 and points south. That's where we'll have some heavier rain during the day. Another push of showers and thunderstorms moves through in the evening and that will still bring some heavy downpours at times. Now by Thursday morning, most of this will be clearing out and we'll be left with some drier and cooler temperatures. We have a marginal threat for a few strong storms on Wednesday. Right now, my concern with severe weather is pretty low, but we could see a few storms that bring some isolated hail embedded in that line of showers. Here's what I'm expecting as far as rain totals. We could be looking out for some localized flooding, especially for areas near the lake and I-44 across southern Missouri. That's where we'll have the most rainfall, anywhere from two to three inches there. Up towards I-70 and points north, anywhere from one to two inches with this system. But thankfully, we'll be clearing out just in time for Friday and the weekend. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures are going to be great to get outside. Hopefully, you can spend some time in that sunshine. Mid to upper 70s on both days. And I'm expecting things to stay dry. Here's my seven-day forecast. We'll be getting cooler with this rain in the area, especially by Thursdays, our front completely moves through the area. We'll be dropping into the upper 60s, clearing things out for Friday with more sunshine and ending the weekend with highs in the mid to upper 70s.